I'm an athlete that skis for the extreme moments throughout my journey. I don't ski for statistics. I don't ski to look at several leaderboards when I'm done. To be able to podium the amount of races I've done this season, I'm living the dream as we speak. It does change your approach a little. And what I feel is difficult is that it's almost that you get in this mentality to like, why is this happening? Why is this going on? You're almost looking for a reason to start failing again. A reason to start failing again. That night was one of the most painful nights in my life, like just severe pain, unable to sleep, couldn't move properly. And first thing Doc says is that um, this is the season, it's, it's over. I don't know, I just couldn't take that for an, for an answer really. I said, is there any way? There's the world championships in solemn, you're in the shape of your life. You know, it's obviously a, a weird contrast to be sitting in front of the television looking at the guy skiing the Chamonix World Cup, collecting points while you're the leader of the very cup that they are racing in. And, you know, I'm having struggles with uh, moving from one side of the bed to the other. I really felt the need to go back to my roots. I needed my childhood coaches. I needed my family. I needed tour. So that's exactly what we did. We all went to Keatville, took it down to the format that we did when I was nine years old. And just at this time around, we're, uh, we're fighting for uh, becoming world champion. The comeback camp was such a journey. We, we arrived there with not even knowing how skiing would feel like. And, and my hopes were just so high all of a sudden, even though like I was skiing and if I did one exercise that was triggering my stomach a little, I started swelling up and it was just not at the best state really physically, but that nostalgic feeling of being back to the roots with that team and working on the ABCs again, it just, it convinced me that this is actually doable, yeah. I quickly made up my mind of only doing the slalom, both because it is less physically demanding discipline, and I could also put all my energy and training during my comeback, and what I also think a increased possibility of leaving Porsche with a medal. I signed up for a journey that allows me to be happy along the way, and that allows me to taste that success and the reward I get from that hard work. It's one of the many lessons I learned through my injury. Remember that at the end of the day, I don't ski for a leaderboard, I ski for the moments and just have a fun out there. Those two, three last runs in Kvitfjell that actually made me pull the trigger of leaving to Courchevel and really go for this project, uh, I felt like a better skier, even though I was weaker. My technique was back on point again. I had such a vision of how I wanted to ski I felt like I had an increased feeling while skiing. It just goes to show that you can never be too good to be practicing those basics. And yeah, that was, that was a gift in, in my unfortunate situation. The only talks has been, will even be at the start, you know? Like that's people's expectations. And the only thought I have is, Am I able to win this thing? And it made it very, very different. But if anything, I would almost think for the positive. It's been a turbulent week, to say the least. I debuted with first VM on Sunday. So um, I'm back. I thought that the only situation that I would have to deal with is being the biggest favorite going into my debut World Championships, and that was it, you know? I wasn't even thinking about the world's expectations to me. It was all about proving to Peter and Om that I can put the ABCs and the basics into one of the most difficult slaloms I've ever skied in my life. 
It was nothing about the medals. It was nothing about like the titles. It was nothing about the story. It was like proving to those guys that were part of the journey that, uh, that it is possible. One shot, one kill. Obviously that's some added pressure right there. And you don't have a next day. You don't have a next comp. You don't have a next chance. To be honest, I just, uh, I just try to use it to my advantage. Only focus on one event, put all my resources and energy and capacity into that very event and see how damn fast I could really ski. I'm at the start. I was like, okay, this is gonna be one hell of a ride. So technique has to be a game. I need to dedicate myself to commit to a tough line. I think I executed it very well. It was a good run, but not the intensity demanded to be a world champion. Second run in Courchevel, it was a true test of a slalom specialist. Like extremely turny, too super tight, and there was just absolutely no rhythm to the course whatsoever. I went out and I'm able to really get into the correct movement patterns. I'm feeling good, like I'm so connected with my skis. I feel like I can adjust at any moment, I'm really doing everything I can in order to really give this first world championship a shot for medals. That's racing, you know, it's, um, I was not disciplined enough in that rhythm change. I took it for granted. One gate, and um, that's all the punishment you need. Have those medals in your hand just to make them slip out of them. Every lesson learned shapes you in a new way, whether it's a lesson learned from success or if it's a lesson learned from failure. With the results this season, I can win it all or lose it all. So I'm looking to enter these, uh, these finals coming up in Andorra with all the growth I've made on both a personal level and on a professional level in the terms of what I was able to prove myself that I was capable to do and going into the next period, fighting for the globe for the second time in a row in Solemn, discipline is key. It's a matter of long, consistent, and persistent hard work. It's a result of the work you've put in your whole career up to the very point in the start of the season. It is such a unique and specific situation to that individual himself. The intimidating part about the final will definitely be the fine line between how great it can really become and how bad I can really mess it up. You could walk out of this season as the World Cup slalom winner of 2023, or you could walk out of the season as the guy that slipped the medals on the very last gates and who also made it slip on the very last race in the World Cup.